Hi, my name is Mark Kaplan, and I'm here with my very dear friend, Ted Wyden, and he's going to tell you a little bit about himself. So I'm Ted Wyden. I started Chicago Scene back in 1998. Many people know Chicago Scene and all the events we've done, including the Chicago Scene uh, New Year's Eve party at the Drake Hotel, and the big Chicago Scene boat party and Halloween parties and all sorts of things. We also launched our magazine, Scene Magazine, in 2001. And uh, now Mark's going to tell you a little bit about everything else we've got going on. <laughs> well, today we're focused on our real estate endeavors, mostly our construction and development. We're going to take a little trip down memory lane. We're going to go out to the West Suburban area, to St. Charles, and we're going to look at a couple of developments that we built many, many years ago. Silver Glen Estates and Prairie Center. Then we're going to go up to the Northwest Suburban area, and we're going to visit Barrington and Inverness and Palatine. We're going to see Williamsburg Village, which is a beautiful office development that was built in 1979 a duplicate of buildings originally built in Williamsburg, Virginia. Then we're gonna head a little bit east and look at Regency Plaza Shopping Center. Then we're gonna go northwest to Barrington and go to Lakeview Development, uh, a community of beautiful single family homes. We're then gonna take a little ride up to Winstone, which is a gated golf course development originally designed and built by Jack Nichols. Along the way, because it's close by, we're gonna visit the first home that I built after school, and then the second home that I built in Inverness, and finally the resting place where my children grew up in Winstone uh, in the Barrington community. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna see both commercial and residential development, and I'm so glad you're gonna be joining us. See you real soon. We're gonna go north and we're gonna see two developments, Williamsburg Village, which was developed in 1979, and Regency Plaza Shopping Center, which was developed in 1990. Uh, we're also going to take a little cathartic journey to my beginnings of when I moved to Chicago from New York, where I originally lived in Palatine, then Inverness, and then Barrington. We are in Willow Walk community in Palatine. And when I was 24 years old, married to my college sweetheart, Judy, we lived here. This was Paul Beitler's house. <laughs> <laughs> a good friend of ours Paul lived Beitler. here. <laughs> lived there. And a famous real estate person in Chicago. Big and Big I Lynn ended Beitler. up building this little ranch. <laughs> right here. And it blew shut as I don't know where the burgundy shutters come from. And I'm telling you, with my own hands, I planted these trees. <laughs> I mowed this grass. And this was my first home, 1320 Crooked Willow Lane. Crooked Willow. And funny. my daughter, Andrea, was born here so in 1978. And then we moved across the street to Willow, to Inverness. Oh, this so with funny. John Kozak. All my friends were here. <laughs> And all these trees were just little tiny trees, and look at it now. So we wanted to move to Inverness. My wife, Judy, said, we have to live in Inverness. It's so beautiful, it's so gorgeous. I said, no, we're really happy here. She said, no, no, we've got to move to Inverness. So literally, yeah. we moved across the street. Oh my God, <laughs> so here's the... And we thought, oh my God, these are the rich people. Yeah. This is where it is. So a little different than Willow Walk. Yeah. All of the homes in Inverness are a minimum of one acre. Uh -huh. And when we moved here in 79, 80, once again, there was so much empty land, you know, very few houses. We thought the wealthiest people in the world lived here, and then we found out they just all had big mortgages. <laughs> and no furniture and no window treatments. <laughs> we built this house over here. And I'm gonna show you this house and you'll recognize it very quickly. <laughs> it, it has the stamp of Mark Construction and Development. <laughs> this home right here. I mean, if you look at it, it's just like without the hexagon. Pull in the driveway so we can get the idea. Big lot to the side there. Wow, it goes way back there. Yeah. Big lots. Yeah. 
Beautiful, beautiful home. How many square feet was this? About 7,000 square feet. Not a bad size. Bigger than 99.9% .9 of all houses in America. <laughs> See? So we built a ton of homes here. And once again, you look at this home here. Does that look familiar off the living room? Yeah, right. The hexagon <laughs> it's room? turned around. <laughs> so I'll tell you a funny story with this house. So we're building this house. And again, I mean, it's literally... The floor plan is identical so the to what we built in Silver Glen, but it, it looks very different. Yeah. So, Justin, we had this for sale for like, I'm making up a number, $800,000, $799. And the people buy the home from us, but then something happens and they change their mind and they don't want to buy it. We say, fine, you don't want to buy it. It's now worth 900000 <laughs> And we ended up selling it two months later for $100,000 more wow. than what we originally contracted. Because there was so much inflation in the market, wow. the market was just exploding back then, that literally the longer we kept the property, the more we would sell it for. Wow. In wow. fact, every time we sold the property, we said, oh my God, why did we sell it? Because then so we had cheap. to pay more to replace it. Yeah. And this was our house on the left. Oh, you own this house too? Before, uh, oh, we're we back to this house? Oh, we turned. No, oh, this was that house we built for sale. Uh -huh. This house we built the limit. Oh, okay, fine, get it, get it. And again, if you look at the architecture. Move up a little bit and we can see it better. Through these trees, whatnot. Very pretty. Again, this house has been duplicated in Long Grove and Hawthorne Woods. I mean, ugly. So we had Great a three car, car garage. I believe yes. that's still our swing set. <laughs> it's still the plant around this tree. Uh -huh. I think that's our swing set. That is hysterical. Uh, I know our, sh our, our outdoor lighting. That is so funny. And uh, all Judy says, we need a four-car garage. We got to have a four-car garage. <laughs> so Can't we survive. lived in this house from, uh, let's say, 80. Michael was born. My son was born in 82 in this house. And we lived here until probably uh, uh, 90. We probably lived here for eight years. And then we moved to Barrington, to Winston, another house. There. But this was a great house. This house was about, again, 6,500 square feet. Not bad. Wow, look at that. So, all right, this is Williamsburg, this is Williamsburg Village. Where is Williamsburg. this? This Williamsburg. is in Inverness. We're in this Inverness. This was a two-lane road. Right. And this road here, Euclid, did not exist. Okay. <laughs> so there was no Euclid, it was just a two-lane road. So we right. built this intersection. We built right. the light. And there's... And this was the entryway that we designed with Brickman Landscape Company out of Long Grove. Uh, we built a waterfall over here. I don't know why it's not working. We have a big waterfall here. And this was a wood uh, board bridge that uh -huh. planked along. Oh, you're kidding. They and it over here. we built all these streams. So the water came back up here, flowed down, because this was the highest end of the property. And then we pumped it back up, and it came down the waterfall. So these were basically condo office buildings. Condo office buildings. And of we had dentists and doctors and business people. There was a bank. Wealth management groups, 39 buildings. Wow, is this cute? I had never Old seen this before. Duplicates of original buildings, built financial groups that were originally built in Williamsburg, Virginia. Amazing. So I'd be, I'd heard about this development for 20 some years. That we I've did known this. Mark brick cobblestone road. Yeah. Nobody had ever done anything like this. Now, this was a swamp down here. <laughs> this was the valley, okay? And literally, well, I'll drive to the front of the building. Look at this covered bridge. Uh, the covered bridge. This is great. And this white building on the left was my office building. Huh. So this area here, this road 
we were 20 feet below. We built this thing up 20 feet. Really? Layer, 18 inch layers. Yeah. On, on, on. One layer after another. So we're here in Inverness, Illinois, in the northwest suburban area of Chicago. And this is what's the name of this development? We're here in a community called Williamsburg Village, which is made up of 39 office buildings that were replicas of the original built, originally built homes and businesses in Williamsburg, Virginia. We hired the Martin Organization architects out of Philadelphia. They had done historical projects around the country and they designed Williamsburg Village for us. It's very interesting because this was a plot of land that was made up of about six, seven different parcels. A little, a chicken ranch, a little farmhouse, you know, just unbelievable uh, non-compliance, really ill-advised property, you know. But the interesting thing is, in Inverness, they had no commercial property. And all of the homes in Inverness are minimum one acre, beautiful estate homes. Well, we had the vision, we had the vision that we wanted to build a commercial development. How could we possibly get it through the plan commission and the board of trustees? So that's why we went to Williamsburg, Virginia and built this beautiful cobblestone streets, beautiful waterfalls, ponds, running creeks, water, a covered bridge, you know, to make it look like a residential development. We have doctors, dentists, banks, uh, financial people, uh, marketing groups, all kinds of different users that are in these buildings. And it was so nice because rather than going to a big office building at the time, they could have a building with windows that open, fireplaces, two, three fireplaces in every building. I mean, it was just like, just so colonial and comfortable that it was a tremendous success. We're here now in front of my old building, uh, which Over was 1629 right Colonial Parkway, where literally we had a mountain on the north side of the property and a swamp on this side. You can see the swamp right there. And we just built up the property. We leveled the mountain, pushed all the dirt down here, compacted the hill out of it with 18 inch lifts and created a roadway that before was a swamp. <laughs> We're here at Regency Plaza Shopping Center in Palatine, Illinois. This is a shopping center that I built in 1989 forward into 1990. Uh, it comprises of about 150,000 square feet and two outlots where we built a bank and we built a very, very nice restaurant. Uh, the shopping center houses a 65,000 square foot uh, food market as well as a true value uh, hardware store. Uh, we had a lot of fun building this shopping center uh, as you might notice, it's all brick with copper roofs, a beautiful entryway, and it really, in the 1989-90, was a revolutionary design of the new modern shopping center. Here we are in Silver Glen Estates in the municipality of St. Charles. Magnificent municipality with wonderful schools, recreational opportunities, golf course, it's the suburban community that is most sought after in the Northwest suburban area of Chicago. 35 years ago, these were barns and corrals and horse stables. <laughs> we found this property, put together about five different farms and created a community of 400, 500 acres. An interesting story that is involved with this property is all of the barns and horse stables and homes that were here, uh, the uh, Community Historical Society had designated as historical structures and said that there were all these Indian artifacts that were buried here. And we had a big meeting on uh, a Tuesday uh, with the uh, village to gain all the entitlements and improvements and we knew that they were gonna bring up these structures that they should be preserved as historical structures. So very quickly, we dug this huge, huge pit, this huge hole behind these homes, and we knocked down all the structures over the weekend, <laughs> buried it in the pit, covered it with about eight feet of clay, 
filled it with water, and created a magnificent pond. <laughs> we came to the meeting and they said, well, these structures should be preserved. And we had pictures that were taken the day before. We said, what structures are you talking about? And we showed the map, we showed her the pictures, and they said, oh, we must have the wrong location. <laughs> and the village municipality employee said, okay, we could go on from there. <laughs> and the development was approved. This was our original model caught again. Uh, we had all of our models that were built that people could you know, duplicate the interiors of, and then we would change the exterior. We were very proud of this. We're at the eastern portion, very close to 31, and the Fox River uh, Valley. So on to the rest of the development. Uh, this was our secondary uh, model, because uh, we ended up selling <laughs> our original models, so we had to build new models. Right. But this was a great home that we've duplicated many times. It's a center entry where you can see you're entering into this and you have huge volume. You've got your dining room over on the left and then on the right, you have a huge living room and then sort of a sitting area that is perfect for a grand piano, you know, uh, right off of the living room. Also what we did with this house is we got all of our uh, subcontractors, all of our plumbing contractors, our electrical contractors, because this was going to be our model, and they all contributed. So back in 88, 89, 90, 91, they put in the most magnificent bathrooms that you can imagine, the most magnificent electrical systems. We had the smart home before any smart homes were there. And all the contractors contributed because every weekend we had 50, 100 people coming through our model. Lakeview of Barrington starts right here. You can see the big trees and goes to the traffic light, which is Eastern Avenue. We're going to go into the southern entranceway. And once again, you can see the kind of landscaping that we always did. Every development that Mark Construction, Mark Development did is very unique in the landscaping and the entryways, a very defined entry rate. So we built all of these homes and our original model court was right here in front of us. We had four models. We had this model, this model, which was our favorite home. I can't tell you how many homes we sold from this model here. Three car garage, which again at that time was very rare. Most homes were two car garages. Uh, in fact, oh no, three car garages. Yeah. Now, all of these homes that look different are all made up of five floor plans. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. We had five floor plans. They all look different to me, but they're really all the same. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Five different floor plans. That's just amazing. <laughs> but we changed all the roofs, changed all the windows, but five Fine. Welcome to Lakeview of Barrington. Uh, you can't see much right now, you just see the uh, entryway, but we built beautiful homes here for the village of Barrington. We're right across the street from Baker Lake and a mile from downtown Barrington, the village center. A beautiful community of single family homes. We are now in the community of Winstone. It's a gated golf course development developed by the Nicholas Sierra Group. Uh, Jack Nicholas built and designed the golf course. It's very tough. <laughs> uh, this is the end of my journey uh, in the Barrington area. Uh, we built this home in approximately 1989, 90, and ended up selling it about 2000. A beautiful home right on the second hole of the golf course. Uh, as you can see, it's all land and stone, four car garage, 15,000 square feet, just a beautiful, beautiful home. <laughs> I used to walk around and just flush unused toilets just to give it some circulation. How many toilets were there? Oh, we had a lot of toilets. <laughs> <laughs> How many bedrooms? Uh, seven bedrooms. Wow. And seven baths. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a lot of fun building it. A little crazy, uh, we did it again in the time of great consumption. 
it seemed like the world wanted bigger and bigger. 7,000 square foot home just wasn't enough <laughs> if you had two children, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun living here. I lived here for about 10 years and then moved into the city and started a whole new life in the city, living right downtown in the heart of Chicago. In addition to all of the developments that we just visited in the greater Chicagoland area, we had the wonderful, exciting opportunity to develop the very top of the Deer Valley Ski Resort. Bald Mountain and Bald Eagle Mountain encompass the entire ski area, and we developed the top of Bald Eagle Mountain, all of the property above Stein Erickson Lodge. We built a ski lift from the bottom of Wasatch Valley to the top of Bald Eagle Mountain and created ski trails that went all the way down to the bottom of the mountain. We had the opportunity to build some magnificent homes at the top. These homes catered to some of the wealthiest and most interesting people in both the business world and entertainment world in the United States. The homes were anywhere from eight to 12,000 square feet all located right on the ski run so they could ski in and ski out. This was a development that really made headlines and history in the United States. We built five bridges, two tunnels, skiing over and under all of the ski trails. It was a very successful project. So I'm so happy that you have been able to join us today on this fantastic journey. You know, seeing many of the developments and shopping centers and homes, office buildings that I've had the opportunity to build. I want you to know that as the developer, I created the community, I found the property, I purchased the property, I financed the property, I hired the land planners, the architects, the engineers, and finally, as the builder, began to deliver the product. Whether it be a shopping center, a home, an office building where people could work, where people could shop, where people could live. I'm so proud of the developments. And what this all means to you, as you're here with my partner, Ted, and myself, we have the experience. We have the know-how. So many financial institutions have trusted us. So many people that live in our homes have had confidence in us. So many people that work in our office buildings have enjoyed the environment that we created. I hope that when you look at the history, the foundation, the background that Ted and I bring to the marketplace, whether you're looking to buy a home or sell a home, we've done it so many times for people just like you and quite honestly, for ourselves. You can trust us, you can rely on us, you will be always happy and proud that you made the decision to work with us. Before we end this video, I would like to reiterate that my whole professional career has been spent in the real estate industry. It's the only thing I've done, the only thing I've always loved to do, and whether we were building a home, developing a shopping center or an office building, building a ski run, has been related to real estate. We've helped so many people buy homes, sell homes. We've helped so many investors make money by utilizing the vehicle of real estate. Every single community we've developed, every home, every investor that has ever worked with us has ended up getting a great return on their investment. Every project we had was a success, some greater, some not so great, some were home runs, some were singles, but every one of our investors was secured by the real estate that we owned and developed and ended up making money. That's what we do. Thank you so much. My partner and I, again, I'm Mark Kaplan. My partner is Ted Wyden. We do things together and what I love is we're extraordinary at making what seems so difficult almost easy. Uh, we've been helping people buy homes and sell homes, develop properties, and probably most important of all, solve 
problems. I hope you'll choose us to help be a part of the solutions in helping you to buy a home or to sell your home. Thank you so much.